welcome to my out of nowhere guitar lesson in chord melody style. Hi everyone around the world, my name is Sandra Sherman and I simplify jazz for you. Please hit that like button, share the love and the knowledge and uh, hit that little bell notification so you never miss anything. You can download the tabs from the link down below in, this, this, uh, in the description box. And now let's get started. <music> We're in the key of G major and we have an A1 and an A2 section. Each of these is 16 bars long. So we, again, we have our usual 32 bars uh, jazz standard song form. All right, we start with a G over B chord. So that's a G, here is your root with B in bass. It's just a triad and I establish a rhythm pattern. First, I play the melody. I bar this already because we need the E in a melody. Um, now, now it's a G6 chord actually. So that's the melody. And I establish a rhythm pattern now where there would be none, just for a more, uh, for a better swing feeling and to fill the gap in the melody because after this initial melody, there is no more melody for the next bar. Now I double that uh, A on top with a G major 9 chord. Here would be your virtual root, okay? So. Then I go down to the G, that's the real melody now. I play it on one end, again for a better rhythmic uh, feel for me. And some individuality, a D and E. Going to B flat minor six or seven, it doesn't really matter. You can play seven also. I chose the six chord, B flat minor six. Going to its five chord, the E flat nine. Just change the root to an E flat, and you have an E flat. Oops, nine chord. And I played rhythmically bass first, and then the upper three strings twice. So. And now we have a whole bar of B flat minor and E flat nine again, but um, I don't just play this again. I fill it with that usual cliche line we have, going from the two to the five chord. Okay, that's a B flat minor triad, going to a minor major, I just changed the bass note, then a minor seven, this would be your root, and now B flat minor six or E flat seven actually. So this goes from B flat to E flat actually. So that's a very usual thing to do here. Then we repeat the initial melody with that G thing. But now we go to B instead of B flat. That's a really interesting move here. And to its five chord, the E9, same thing. And going from B, because we have another bar of B and E. So the same thing, but one fret up. And now we have, um, and that's actually it. So uh, the first uh, eight bars of the A section here, again, at slow tempo for you. Three, four. Check out my 35 beginner chord melody jazz standards if you want to add some real popular standards to your repertoire. You get the PDF tabs and the Guitar Pro tabs, including standard music notation, and of course you get uh, all the detailed video tutorials. There is a link down below this video in the description box that leads you to the uh, 35 jazz standards. And the bundle price is a real bargain, so grab yours now. All right, and here's the first ending that's eight bars actually. Now we go to A minor seven with the A open A string. We take advantage of that because then it's easier to play that F, E, and C on top. If I played it like this, it would be hard. It's possible, but I play with the open A string. And 
then after that I played an A minor 7 on top. So in this song I have a tendency to play the melody note first and then hit the chord after it again. So that's my rhythmic uh, thing here in this song. While the melody is just, you know. And then we have a 2-5 in B, B minor, 11. Because now actually that's a half, it would be a half diminished chord because now it goes up to the flat 5. E7 flat 9 in the shape of a, a G sharp diminished chord down to the E. Okay, let's uh, revisit that. Mm. And now to the A minor 9 chord. Play just the rhythm. There's two bars of that actually. The second one is A minor 7. And to fill that, I play again, I play a cliche line this way, the other way around, from the seventh to the root. I play just these two strings minor major seven, minor diet, and triad. So I play these two and then these two. So I just play diets here. Okay? And then we go over to E flat 9, the complete chord. If you can't catch that E flat, just play the upper ones. Okay. Going to A, G, leave it here. E flat 7, cowboy chord, but this is um, easier to fret than this. That, that would be the alternative. So I play just the simple chord. E flat 7 and play it again. A, B flat. Then I hit the E flat 9. That's a G half diminished. It's also an E flat 9 without the root. Here would be a virtual root. G, B flat, and A minor 11. And it's 5 chord, the um, D 13. I play the bass first, then the upper four strings. Okay. Twice, and then a sh uh, flat 13. So I move the 13 into the flat 13. Okay. And then we start all over again. So here is uh, phrase number two, the first ending for you. Three, four. to keep the free video tutorials of this channel running by becoming a member of the channel and you can do so by clicking the join button right next to the subscribe button which also grants you access to my mini lessons. You can also say a little thank you by clicking the thanks button and donate a little something. This really helps with the productions of the videos. Thanks a lot. For the A2 section, you first have to repeat phrase 1 because that's the first part of it, the first 8 bars. And now we get to the second ending, which makes it A2, and that's the uh, last 8 bars. We start the same as the uh, phrase 2 with A minor 7 here with that uh, open A string. And then this is also the same, B, for, uh, B minor 11. E7 flat 9 in the shape of a G diminished, a G sharp diminished. But now we go up the melody, C, D, and now we go to A minor 9. See, this is would be your A minor 9 here. Don't play the root, but play the fifth on top. This is an A minor 9 chord upper voicing. Just play the rhythm, 1, 2, and an F9 sharp 11 upper voicing. That's again, this would be F9. Don't play the root, but the sharp 11 on top. And I just use different fingers here. Little break. One and two and. And now the last two bars is actually. That's the A on top alone. Then the B half diminished. 
the G afterwards. And then a passing chord, B flat diminished. This has no five function. It doesn't resolve. It's just a passing chord that will go down to A minor in a second. B flat diminished. F on top. So E on top, then F on top. A minor 11. That's a 2, 5, 1 now. 2, then a D13. I could have played this one, but then I would have to resolve it to this G, which is also possible. But I went for E minor 11, bigger jump, D13, and resolve it to this G with the G in bass. I always want a root in bass at the end chord, you know? So that's G6. Okay, here is the uh, phrase number three for you at slow tempo. Three, four. out my chord melody playlist up here on my YouTube channel for literally hundreds of uh, YouTube tutorials. Please go to my lesson shop guitarversum.com but most of all please give this lesson a fat thumb a thumbs up so it's been seen by others too you know the YouTube algorithm. Please share the love and the knowledge hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification and I hope to see you next week. Servus Baba!